Shalom. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I go on the highways and byways to push this truth. And push about the downfall and destruction of America that's coming. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to our apostles, the elders of GMS who rule well. And peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. We are here for the 12 tribes of Israel, Jews and so called Negroes, Benjamin and so called West Indian Jamaicans, Levi the so called Haitians. Ruben, the so-called Seminole Indians, Gad of the so-called North American Indians, Issachar, the so-called Mexicans, Debelon, the Guatemala, the Panama, Nassau, the so-called Cubans, Simeon, the so-called Dominicans, Ephraim, the so-called Puerto Ricans. We have Asher's, Colombia, to Uruguay, and Naphtali, Argentina, to Chile. These are the 12 tribes of Israel, who Yahweh Shai is coming to deem one-third the elect, and two-thirds are set up for the destruction, man. We are coming down to the end of this thing, man. You know? So we must keep our eyes open and watch. You know? Stay circumspect. This is uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 1. He answered me then and said, measure thy time diligently within itself. How do we measure the time? We constantly uh, stay on the internet. We constantly watch alternative news. We constantly read news articles and papers. We constantly uh, talking to other brothers, right? To see what's going on. That's how we measure the time diligently, man. Looking for the prophecies, right? Because that's what the Bible is about, prophecies that's taking place, right? So we're watching for these prophecies, man. It says, and when thou seest of the signs past, which I told you thee before, verse two, then thou shalt understand that it is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world that he made. So when you see these prophecies happening, that's Yahweh, Yahweh visiting the planet, man. Because a lot of, uh, uh, when he visits the planet, what do he do? A lot of death starts happening, man. A lot of things uh, out of the ordinary start happening, such as like, you have a lot of animals that, that live in the water, they're found on the on the shore, on the beaches, right? Birds, uh, birds, dead birds are just falling in flocks, man. These are signs, man, of the end, you know? People who you thought was gonna live forever, they're dying. You're, you're, uh, you're people who are of high stature. They're falling over dead, man, the most high is, is taking people out right now. And these are part of their signs. You hear the talk of war, man. Constantly on the horizon, man. These are signs, man. You have earthquakes in diverse places. Every day, man, it's an earthquake happening somewhere, you know? And these are signs, man, that the Lord is coming back. He's getting ready to send his son back to redeem his people, Israel. You know, the house of Israel, man. In Hebrew is Yahshua Allah. Yah meaning uh, he, Shah meaning prince, Allah meaning of the power. The nation of Israel, man, the Lord's people. And it says, verse three, therefore, when there shall be, be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, right? And we have that, man. You have earthquakes that happen daily, right? All over the planet. We have uproars of the people. We've been having uproars of the people for the last four or five years. Matter of fact, it started when the economy fell over in Greece. They start having those major uproars of the people. They just spreading all the way across the globe, man. You having small uproars now because of the new guy that was put in present, uh, pro, uh, put in office. You have people that's protesting little uproars. These are part of the signs, man, that the Lord is finishing his son back to redeem the, redeem the people, man, and bring destruction on America, man. These people are comfortable out here, man. You know, they lollygag around, you know. Taking their time, everything is cool and kosher. But the Lord is getting ready to do a work in this place, man. And bring misery and distress and anguish, man. And it says, then shall thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. The Lord spake it already. These are prophecies, man. The Lord spake of this 
way back. That's why you, when you read the scriptures, it's saying, and the Lord has spoken to those different prophets back in the old ancient uh, times, ancient days, man. So we're in that time now of the end. That's why it's time for the elect to, to the elect awaken up, come back to Yahweh Bashim Shai, come back to the, the word and have faith, man, and hope. The expectation, a good expectation of you getting out of here when all hell breaks loose. That he gonna send his son and the, and the angels to save you out of this situation. Because Esau is getting ready to bring martial law in this place too, man. He's getting ready to bring martial law on these. On, and when he bring it, it's really for the nation of Israel, right? To put you back in, in captivity. He's getting ready to show you his real horns, man. We have a sign of Caesar Bozier. People always like to say, well, why y'all got bull horns on Jesus? Because he's the devil. And Esau's getting ready to show you his horns here in a minute. He getting ready to bring martial law, man. He getting ready to show you what he's all about. You know? It says, for light, as all that is made in the world have a beginning, and an end, and the end is manifest, it's made known through the scripture. It's made known that we at the end for the prophecies, man. That's what it's about. We know through these prophecies that we are at the end of this thing, man. Like a spake, man, Esau's getting ready to bring pure hell on you people, man. The Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Esau's getting ready to show you who he really is, man. devil the Bible speaks of, man. Uh, this is, uh, Revelations. Do I have my phone? Rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell therein. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down on you, having a great wrath, because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Right? Read that again. It says, Revelation 12 and 12, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, right? Rejoice ye heavens. That's the elect that are in the heavens and the angels. It said rejoice, right? And ye that dwelleth in them, it says, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, meaning destruction, to the inhabitants that live here on the earth, man. It says, and of the sea for the devil, right? Who is the devil? Is that the spiritual demon Satan? No, that's his counterpart here on the earth, because it said inhabitants of the earth. So is the devil actually a uh, spiritual demon Satan walking around, getting ready to put everybody in martial law? No, he has counterparts on this earth. His counterpart on the earth is Esau, man. The so-called white man. That's why we say it's the devil that the Bible speaks of. When you know when you know prophecies and you know mysteries, then you would know where to find Esau in the Bible. Right? So he's gonna he's gonna have his the so-called white man roll up on you. It says, the devil has come down on you having great wrath. What's that wrath, man? That's gonna come. The wrath that's finna come is martial law, man. That's that wrath that's finna come. He's getting ready to bring martial law, man. To try to put you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans back into slavery. And then he's gonna bring that other wrath, which is what? The thermonuclear destruction, the nuclear missiles, man. That's the other wrath that he's gonna bring. Which the Lord has put the spirit on him to do it. Right? And he's gonna do it. That's how the Lord is going to plead with his people through thermonuclear destruction. That's how he's going to destroy America, man. Thermonuclear missiles, man. The ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles. I got them right here. I'm going to show them to you. Lock. Right there, man. 
That's how the Lord's gonna plead with his people, man. The ICBM intercontinental ballistic missiles, man. Those are getting ready to be shot on America, man. And there's no running, no escape. There's gonna be no escape from that thermonuclear destruction. You know, you see the guy on there running with the mushroom cloud, but it's, it's not gonna be any escape, man. You know? It's got not gonna be any escape. You know? And it says, having great wrath because he knoweth that he have, but a short time, right? So the Lord is speeding up, he's speeding up time. He's actually speeding the time up to shorten the time for the elect, to make our time short here in left on America, man. So he's actually speeding the time up. So that's why things are happening so fast, man. You know? The, 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 the days are going by so quickly, man. Months are passing fast, years are going by. You know? We just started, we just started January, it's almost over. A few days, it's over, it's February. You know? This is uh, Luke 21. Try 21, 21. Luke 21 and 21 and it says well, I started 20 it says and when ye shall see Jerusalem come past with armies then know that the desolation therefore is not this is talking what this talk about it was back in 70 AD when the Romans besieged uh, Jerusalem man but yet it's gonna happen again so when you see when you were, were uh, 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 Jerusalem is a people before it's a place, which are the Israelites. So where are the bulk of the Israelites at? They're here in America, man. So when it says, when you see Jerusalem can pass, meaning surrounded, because that's how martial law goes. They're gonna surround you, where it's no escape, man. It says, when you see Jerusalem can pass with armies, but that's how they're going to come, with their military. That's how they're going to use martial law, with their military, man. You know, the fight is going to be here against the uh, Negroes, Latinos, and the Native Americans, man. So Esau is getting ready to bring the fight to you, man. You read Psalms 83. They don't want you in remembrance, man. You know? Verse 21. Then let them which are in Judea flee to, flee to the mountains and let them which are in the midst of it depart out and let not them that are in the countries enter therein. This happened back in 70 AD. We're talking this 70 AD and it's gonna happen now. When our people fled out of Jerusalem back in 70 AD, we ran and said, let them run to the mountains, right? You have when the elevation in Jerusalem is lower than the elevation in uh, Africa. So when they say flee to the mountains, they fled to the northern parts of Africa, the mountainous regions of Africa. And our people fled to what's called Masada, man. When you read, and read about 70 AD, they fled to Masada. Right? So where are they gonna flee in, in, in 2017 out of America? Basically nowhere. Because people are trapped in these cities, man. They depend on Esau. And Deuteronomy is a curse that you gotta go to him for the one of all things. So it's a curse that's put on us. So we gonna be trapped, man. You know, you gonna have to deal with deal with martial law coming right in your face, face to face with you. It says, verse 22, for these be the days of vengeance that all things which are written must be fulfilled. Yep, all things must be fulfilled, man. The Lord coming back, all things must be fulfilled. 